These flat panel speakers caught his ear as well as his eye. The planar magnetic speaker that I got to hear cost $6. It was a very, very small, very, very low power, but it had unbelievable intelligibility. You just couldn't turn it up very loud. That's when I began to think, my gosh, if we could make this thing like on steroids and have this thing be powerful, we could take over the music industry. Unfortunately, the bigger they got, the worse they sounded. That's when Simidian switched on to a low-tech solution for this complex problem. He set up 14 small speakers side by side to act as one giant loudspeaker. One of the very interesting characteristics of our technology is that it's called dipole. And that means that the speaker sends out as much energy in this direction as it sends out in that direction. It's almost like two speakers in one. The resulting creation was also more directional. Each individual small speaker transmits its own sound wave. As each wave spreads out, it hits neighboring waves, and the resulting ripples make the beam of sound louder and more directional. On the runway at Edwards Air Force Base in Southern California, Simidian prepped his magnetic acoustic audio device for the ultimate test. If it was loud enough for an airfield, it was loud enough for any outdoor stadium or concert hall. The moment of truth had arrived. From more than half a mile away, Beethoven's ninth rang out loud and clear. The sonic wall of sound reached decibels near the range of human pain, making Simidian's speaker system one of the loudest and most directional audio devices ever built. The largest speaker that we've ever created was, is what we call our 96 is capable of sending sound 56,000 feet or 10 miles. Perfectly intelligible.